Hi, my name is Sean Thompson and welcome to Shadowboy.com's video tutorial services. In this tutorial, I'm going to share with you some tips to setting up your IP address for your WHMCS billing system to work with your Enom reseller and reseller test accounts. In order for our Enom mod WHMCS modules to function properly with your Enom accounts, it is important that you submit the IP address to Enom's technical support department so that you can connect using these API commands. Let's look at where you can find your IP address if you have not already done so. In this screen, I've opened up the cPanel control panel. Your IP address can be found in several places. For those of you who do not know where to find your IP address of your server, which houses your WHMCS billing system, you can log into your cPanel control panel and find it located on the left-hand side and listed under the services provided for your hosting account. And in this tutorial, I have found my IP address located right here. Once you have the correct IP address, you can now submit the request to Enom. Therefore, on our next screen, we will log in to our Enom account. And you'll notice that the Help Center icon or link is located at the top of the screen. And you'll click that, and it will just bring up this Help Center. And the next step you want to take is you want to launch the Support Center by clicking this button right here. Although I will not do the uh, launch it at this um, moment, I've already done so and created a ticket ready to be submitted. Here I have a support ticket ready to be submitted. You'll notice the subject line includes add IP address to reseller and reseller test accounts. And the, the question that I've asked is the subject of my request. Please add my IP address to my approved list of IPs. You'll also want to re uh, some, uh, select the category from the drop down, and I've already done so of, by choosing API, and then you'll hit continue and submit the ticket to the support center. I've already done so, and this is the response that I've received. And Enom received my request and added the IP address. They also explained how I could set up a test account in these instructions right here. And basically these are the next steps you'll want to take. You'll go into back into your uh, Enom account and choose from the drop down menu under resellers, API and test account. You click set up your account on the testing server. You click reset your account balance to the test environment to 5000. And if you're going to be using the API in the test environment, you just click and add edit delete IP addresses that are allowed to access your account on the test server. And this is where you'll add that static IP address that you've uh, just found. So I've opened up this window and it shows the, the steps that they just told you to go to. So I'll walk you through. You go to Resellers, API, Test Account, and you'll click on that and it shows up as your test interface. And then down here, you'll want to set up your account if you've already, if you haven't done so. Now I won't click this link because I've already done it. So my test account is already set up. I want to reset my balance to 5,000. I'm going to click that. That shows that my balance has been reset to 5,000. And then you want to add and edit. And the reason you want to set the balance to 5,000 is it allows you to process um, test um, products for Enom, essentially you can buy any product, you can buy any domain, you can buy anything that you need and you won't be charged for it and it is not live. So it's only done in this sandbox environment. So it's really nice. And then the third option you want to add is your IP address. And you'll, you'll add it here and, and once you've configured your test environment, it will take a little bit of time to propagate that IP address from the support department. So, so consider about your request will take probably 12 hours. After that, and you've done this, then you'll be able to test out those modules and um, connect to the test environment and the live environment through your WHMCS billing system and be able to um, process any transaction and see how the modules work. Thank you for visiting Shadowboy.com and the video tutorial services. We ask um, if you have any questions or comments or have any um, 
issues arising from our modules, just please contact our support department and we'd be happy to help you out. Thank you and have a good day.